Working with Cathedral Window Technique presents some challenges, doesn't it? First, you have many different ways to do it. Which one is the best for you? And once you choose one method, all those questions start to come up and you wonder, will I be able to do it? In this section, you will overview the methods that I have learned and practiced and the uh, advantage of each one. And I will share with you all the solutions and shortcuts that uh, I've been able to find in these years of practice cathedral in the technique. I, I wish that uh, through all these experiences you can be confident and have all the tools to finish your cathedral window project. If you really like the cathedral window technique and have always wanted to do a project with this technique, you are in the right place. Here you will find tips, tricks and techniques so you can make your project in an easy and fun way. The tutorials are aimed at all those people who always wanted to make cathedral window projects uh, asking themselves how they could achieve their characteristic and elegant forms of this technique. And perhaps how uh, also they could change these shapes. From traditional techniques to the most daring developments, you can explore and learn the basis to face any project with confidence. You will find inspiration, techniques, useful tools and tips. I know you will check a cathedral window as done on your to-do list. And if you are looking for a different cathedral window, you will be delighted with the possibilities of new developments. These ways of prepare the parts of the project will allow you to change the shapes of the window without much effort. As you assimilate the information from the lesson and practice constantly, you will learn the different methods to make a theatre window and choose the one that best suits you according to your desire and the conditions of the project you want to make. By following these lessons, you will gain confidence and skill in creating any cathedral window project you will know the different possibilities that each method offers and the limitations too. And you will have the necessary tools to successfully overcome difficulties in design and execution. Uh, working with the different methods, you will achieve a broader perspective of the possibilities of this technique and your imagination will be able to see new designs and combinations. To take advantage of all this information, it's a good idea to follow the order of the lesson, but you can skip them and go directly to the project section too, and then go to each lesson as you need it. In the next few lessons, uh, you will find several ways to solve the problems that come up with this technique when we first start. Uh, how to organize tasks and time how to stay motivated, how to choose the most appropriate method, and all the different things that come up. The useful tools section is like a little menu with tips and techniques so you can make the project uh, in an easy and fun way. You will go back and forth to this section as it contains the basics of any project. In the Practice with Muslin section, you will find all the instructions that will, uh, that will allow you to build the blocks step by step. By practicing on a small scale, we can face difficulties in a simple way, gathering information that will be useful when starting a project. Keep in mind that each project has different stages. The materials the suggested amount of fabric are approximate and overcalculated, so if you make a mistake, you still have room to work. Size, the dimensions of the project, method, 
which method you are going to use. Units, how you are going to make the units for the project. The base, instructions to make the base of the project. Windows, in this section you will find indication to place each window, templates for cutting the fabric and application tips. Finishing, indication that will make your project look perfect. Go to the next lesson to learn the different methods of making cathedral window quilts.